So this is my response to the BuzzFeed video which is titled, Foodies Kill Their Food For The First Time. As you'll see, this video really highlights that there is a big disconnect between people's food uh, or what people consider food. I love animals. My Instagram is all cats. And we could, these are ones that we could kill and eat. No, you would, instead of kill, we'll call it harvest them. Harvest yeah. feels better. Than yeah, it does it, it's all part of that. This is one of those bits which highlights the that people aren't comfortable doing what they're doing. Even the farmer doesn't like the word kill. He likes to use harvest. And you see all the city folk, after a while, all end up using the word harvest as well because the word kill suggests doing what you're actually doing. Really weird to pick something that you know you're going to kill. It's just arbitrary. I'm just like, yeah, you. All right, all right. I'm, I'm good. Gabby, really? Gabby Y'all are knows. good? Gabby Look at how knows. are you good right now? I'm not going to build it up. Really fast. So you see the purple hair girl, her reaction is um, unusual for the group, I guess. She's just going ahead, she's not actually thinking about things. She's just getting the job done. As she... Whereas the rest of the group, the compassionate side is coming through and they're gonna have to be coaxed into it a bit more. We're gonna go put them in the cage, take them up to the harvest station and do the deed. Once again, harvest station and do the deed. No one's mentioning cutting the chicken's throat. You know what I mean? It's just very clinical, uh, no emotive terms. You know, it's still really sad. What's a shame is that when we die, we won't become someone's tasty meal. Like, it, at least their death is serving a greater purpose. This comment's quite indicative of society, I guess that their death is serving a greater purpose. Uh, uh, it, it, that's sad. I mean, I, I think it's a sad comment. There's a hose over there. The chicken is already gone. As we're talking right now, she's gone. I feel like my, my response to these kind of things is to just to numb myself emotionally and not really allow myself to feel. Now this is a very honest comment from the guy and I feel this is the only way to get through doing these sort of things and that's how I did it myself when I used to slaughter animals. It, you don't want to think about it because when you think about it, you don't want to do it. So you do have to numb yourself to go through with it. But you can see the reality of what they're doing set in they're all emotional. It doesn't come naturally. That's the compassion coming through. Super weird that that was the chicken that we picked out of the house like a couple hours ago. Hey, keep painting, keep painting. You're doing great. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. man. This chicken is delicious. It tastes fresher, um, maybe because I saw it die. Deeds done, as they call it. You can see the mood changes quite a bit. Once the feathers have been removed, it's looking more like what they would expect the chicken to look like what they purchase it in the store so I don't know that I'm gonna leave here like vegetarian or vegan but I definitely am gonna like think about it more parting comment should think about it a bit more the thing is in society the way we buy our meat it's intended for us not to think about it more it's intended for us just just to go into the shop buy a nasty pre-packaged hunk of meat it's glad wrapped there's no fur, there's no feathers. So we don't think about it because if we did think about it, there would be more vegans. When you read the comments in these videos, you see that there's lots of people that were emotionally touched by this story. And seeing people kill animals on a video like that, got people talking. So if you have issues with this video and you're still eating meat, I'd consider maybe going vegetarian at least. And I love animals, I love animals, I love animals. I hear it all the time, they say they love animals but yet they're still eating meat. So let's open our eyes up a bit. What do you think about the video? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time.